Hello, welcome to the reading room. It's Sid V here. Uh, today we're going to do a pick a card reading and it's going to be on Does Your Boss Want You to Leave? So let's get started. Time stamps down below. Take your time, choose your group, and um, I'll see you there. Hello, group one. So let's find out what's going on. I'm just going to place these over here for now and start with these ones. So it has to do with um, being fair, justice, um, yeah, what's going on exactly, how it's going, how you should think about it, how you should look at it, you know, what's the positive and negatives of the situation. Um, you don't know everything, you don't see through everything, or you like to know what's going on. So there's a few scenarios here. Um, yeah, it has to do with time for sure and being frustrated and sometimes not knowing uh, what direction to take or how to go about doing it. And things seem to be in the way a lot. I mean, it's like you try something and someone stops you. It might not be a person, but it might be an everyday occurrence. And you try. You definitely uh, put yourself out there. But also, you feel like there's something off. Something's going on. You're suspicious or you're, something has triggered your curiosity. Your intuition is telling you something. Something is nagging you and it doesn't feel great. Or you feel like you need to protect yourself or be on the, on the defensive and, you know, watch out. So quite a bit of things are going on here. And also, yeah, dedication. You're investing a lot in this job. You're really trying to do the best, trying to put yourself out there, trying to fit, trying to uh, accomplish things in the proper way or the right way. It seems like you're putting a lot of effort in there. You're well, you're invested and you really have a lot of experience behind you also. And you move forward all the time, but um, sometimes you close your eyes or you don't pay attention be on purpose. Sometimes you just don't want to see what's going on or you want don't really care to know. You just want to get through it drama free. Um, just do your every day and get, get it done. But you're doing a great job, but you just don't want to be involved in a lot of uh, pettiness or things that are going on with other co-workers or even the boss himself. Seems like there's issues here. So there's a lot going on and I'm picking it up like um, like it's pretty strong. When it comes to your boss wanting you to leave, I feel like there's something up, something's going on. But what? Let's find out. Let's clarify that. Oh, the whole deck is reversed. That happens to me a lot and I forget to check sometimes. So I get that, um, you know, they want things to go a certain way, for sure. And they want things to feel good and to be right. And um, they've been working on uh, having the environment a certain way, having the work a certain way. And they're looking towards the future. And, you know, they feel very uh, confident that things can work out or things can be great. Um, they want what's fair. So if you're not happy, yeah, they want you to leave for sure. If you're not going to be happy, if you're not going to be part of the team, if you're not going to be part of the solution for them, they feel like, yeah, you, you know, they've tried. They tried to make you uh, part of the team. They tried to uh, show you that uh, they want you to be part of this, and but they want you to feel a certain way. They feel like they're um, always having to um, ignore you or not look at, or avoid what you're thinking or what you want. It's almost like you're a little aggressive. And that's how they feel. I'm not saying that's how you are. I mean, we're talking about them, right? And But that's how they're feeling, is that you have some aggression towards them. And that they're being watched, waiting for them to fail or, or mess up. And their intentions are good. That's you know, And they've been working hard. So that's their point of view. So that's the reason that, that uh, things aren't going well with you and them. But I see here that you're really putting effort in. So you're having a communication that's not in the same direction. 
I'm going to pull this one out and see what they say. So here it talks about, um, and, oh, and one more thing that's coming up through um, is that justice is for both. Like they want things to be fair and you want things to be fair, but what you think is fair, you both are not on the same page. You don't have the same thoughts, the same feelings, you know, and here you need to put yourself in a good place. You need to feel really good about where you are and what you're doing because you're pretty wise. You're pretty smart. You you have some really good uh, knowledge and experience and you wrap yourself up in you, what you're doing and you want to feel good and safe. And, you know, and it is time. It is time for you to um, go for your dreams and go for what you want and be happy. Definitely be happy. And opportunities are always around you for sure. So you don't have to stay here, but also you've uh, let you've let past experience by. Like things have come up. You never went for them because you were hoping that where you are is good or what you're doing is good or you had opportunities to fix this problem between you and your boss and you never jumped on it you let it pass and you know it's time now to maybe think about those things about what was going on before mm, but definitely go for your dreams and don't be afraid that you, there is some uh, vulnerability that you have to put out for sure and you have a lot of strength and you have a lot of strength from your past and you're also uh, able to do great things <laughs> so if you decide to to um, do something different than what you're doing feeling like it's about what you're wanting and what you've been dreaming about and maybe you're thinking about past experience and how it was with at work and you want it back then go for it if it's um, to go somewhere else and you you yourself want to have another opportunity or a different type of job or something else then go for that you know but it's really up to you um, what you're choosing. Both can be done. Let me see what this is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this is about changes and how you see things. So if you want to see a certain situation a certain way, then it can be that way. It's up to you. You don't have to do things exactly the way everyone else goes about doing it. And also, you can change your mind. You don't have to be stuck to your word every single time you make a decision. You're, you're uh, free to change your mind, to change your direction, change your point of view. But the, I tell you, the more positive you become, the more um, things around you are going to be better. You know, I'm going to pull some cards and clarify more of this. So let's see. The problem is whether you want it or not. That's a huge decision. Make it happen or not. And what are you choosing uh, to argue about? So pick your battles kind of thing, you know. Not everything has to be right. Not everything has to be correct. Not everything has to go your way or their way. I mean, really choose what is important to you. Maybe ask yourself and then go about doing that. But you can... Um, you have to want it too, right? And it will release stress once you know your direction, once you know what it is important for you to fight for or to change, what supports what you feel is fair. Once you've decided, that will release the stress. All in the attitude, all in, in how you're going to handle things. And remember, nothing's written in gold. I mean, it all can change. It's up to you to change it, though, really. You, you cannot have um, or give someone else the power of your own life. You know, it's all how you're going to handle it and how you're going to take care of it. That's the huge decision that you have to make so your life can be feeling fair and balanced. That's what I'm picking up. And yes, yeah, so we're talking about work related. We're not talking about personal life. Well, that can apply to your personal life too. But we're, you know, they're giving you the message that when it comes to your work, how to handle it, you know. The 
things are feeling pretty empty and um, really what's going on like nothing feels right or you know like you're not really thinking about the future or maybe you do see something but you know the past has been good the future is good but you're in a place where you're not really looking at it so you have opportunities that are going to be good there's a lot of confusion in this card um on how you see things yeah and right now it's it's the time like it's time to change your thinking and the way you see things for sure because you know things are not going well for you and if you keep uh, concentrating in that and I'm sorry I don't mean to to offend because it's not it's the messages coming out here and they're saying that um, if you keep looking at the negativities that's all you're going to receive is negativities you have to turn around and see what's good and then concentrate on that and that's really um, all about you and how you're handling things. But your boss absolutely um, wants what's best for them and the workplace. And if you're not happy, then yeah, they wish you would just leave. If you're happy, then of course they want things to succeed. And hopefully it'll work out for you. Hello, group two. So let's see. I'm going to put these over here for right now and start off with these ones. So does your boss want you to leave? So let's find out. Um, right now, things seem to be good. They seem to um, have a lot of ideas and plans. Them or you, something's going on. A lot of, lot of uh, planning is going on. A lot of movement. A lot of ideas being uh, flowing. Um, let me see. It has to do with respect. How things are handled. How things um, go about getting done, um, respect seems to be huge here. Needing some respect or there's been a lot of respect and things are changing and uh, yeah. So the workplace has uh, a new way of doing things or your boss has a new way of doing things or you've been, <laughs> well, place it, you know, but uh, it's definitely um, things have to be lear learned in a different way. Or place in a different way and um, so what you're feeling is that uh, respect is needed and how um, and why things are changing and why things are new is a question that uh, you're kind of wondering and is making you feel like you're not wanted so let's find out more about that Does your boss want you to leave? Yes or no? And, um, you know, like, what do they want and um, why? And if it's not that, then what is going on? Maybe. Maybe they have thoughts of it. They, they want things to just flow. Things to happen. They want things to, to go a certain way. They have a plan. They have an idea. And they want it that way. So they're not going to do the job. They're not going to carry it through. They want you or any others to do so. Uh, I feel like for some, it's a busy workplace. For others, it may not. But your, your task may be a team task or your place of work is very busy with a lot of different people. This boss is very busy and has a lot of uh, planning to do and a lot of direction and decisions Um but mostly, this is how it needs to be done. This is what I want. And the control is um, precise. And also, this boss hears a lot, receives a lot of um, info, whether it's uh, through gossip or whether it's um, through others in giving them directions. But they hear a lot. They know a lot. And believe me, they know what's exactly what's going on at the workplace. They may not always show it, but what they want is things to run um, smooth. They want people to jump in and go ahead and, and try it, do it, make it happen, and also be productive and give answers, give solutions. They're, they don't want uh, puppets. <laughs> they want people to actually be proactive and um, they don't really care who's there yeah they, they're not really concerned about uh actually making sure that you leave or anything they're not concentrated on you but 
um, they're concentrating on the changes are coming regardless and they want people to accept it and learn it and to take it on and do it. So whether it's a new project, whether it's a new uh, way of working, whether it's a new branch, whether it's a new department, I don't know. There's something going on that's uh, you need to go ahead and learn it. And they just want it to happen. They want you to be part of the, the solution, not part of the problem. They want things to flow. They have too much to deal with. That's the problem. They're overworked. Um, anchoring, yes, anchor yourself, spread yourself, extend yourself for sure. If you like working there and you really enjoy it, show your potential because show your support and branch out and try this, uh, make your place, work on it. Uh, because you know what, um, how you see things and what you do and how you go about doing it right now, it may drain you and it may not give you the results you want, right? But if you give yourself 100% to this and you expand yourself, then you'll see that, um, I'm going to clarify this card. I feel like I need a clarification, so I'll do that right now. It feels like your ideas are um, not what they want, or you're feeling like that. I'm getting the message now because it felt negative. And yet the message is positive to put yourself out there. But what it is, is that you're not feeling confident enough to put yourself out. Mm. I'm going to pull another card with it. Yeah, it's a, it's a matter of a choice, a choice that you'll make. And if you make the right choice, of course, things look good. You just um, need to make your choice and show what you can do, show what you have, offer it. So in this job, it's mainly about that. So if you want to um, feel good about what's going on, be proactive in it. This bus is pretty tough. I really feel like he's, uh, there's no, um, no, um, getting around him <laughs> or her you know it's uh really tough okay oh now I'll pull this card here it says here uh mm, see it's about flowing so this is all about you and how you see things and what is going on for you you're a little lost on the idea of what's going on and you need to find your way. And the only way to do that is to actually uh, throw yourself in and realize how successful you are, realize how good you are, realize how how you can complete things and, and be a positive uh, force in this workplace and a really good team uh, worker or team leader. Whatever position you're in, or whatever you're, you're doing, you're valued and you're really important in this part of this team or work I feel like there's a lot of busy people and they're sort of like you're moving a lot to one place to another or people are keep going to their stations and moving back and forth I'm picking that up I actually like it's um um, yeah, I, I can almost see it. It's like a warehouse, with a lot of people moving. So that might be specific for someone. Um, yeah, it's everybody's busy and they just, uh, they, the boss wants that to just flow. Like, you know, everybody do their own thing and just get it done. They don't want to be babysitting. That's what I'm picking up. Could be specific. Oh, yeah. See, it's just throwing. I feel like this one, too. So, yeah, don't hold back. Don't hold back. Um, explore your options. Explore what's going on. You know, that's something that holding back is not going to uh, really serve you. Like, you're offering a little bit of you and you're not putting yourself out there. And, yes, it's scary. It feels like, oh, it's like, can I do this? Should I go there? Um, am I able to do this? Like you're really um, not being proactive. You're kind of, you have everything you need. You have all the skills, yet you don't actually go through with it. And you know what? You have all what you need. You absolutely can succeed in it. 
beyond your expectation. It's a matter of how you see things, a matter of you being brave, a matter of you putting yourself out there, searching um, and going forward and see, finding yourself, <clears throat> excuse me, finding yourself and you'll see that um, things are going to be okay. It's a matter of actually just throwing yourself in there. That boss, um, if you uh, do... Um, just open up and just go do your job and, and really enjoy what you're doing and, and uh, you know, show and what you're capable. The more you do, the more they just enjoy you. I mean, they're not, they just don't want people that don't want to be there, basically. Or you don't want to do your job, then you don't want to learn what you need to do. You know, it's not that they want personally you gone. So here, give yourself a chance. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. Here it says, uh, give yourself a chance. Like, you're awful defensive and you, you feel like you need to protect yourself. But, you know, if you let yourself go and you just go find out what's going on and and uh, be brave and um, give yourself a chance, you'll see how wonderful it is. I'm going to pull it on the card, but you really, um, it's all up to you, really. I don't know what type of job you're doing, but um, you're very good at it. And if you give yourself half a chance, you'll be happy there. Or you would be happy in what you're doing. Yeah, learn what what needs to be learnt. And you'll see how successful you'll be. And you'll see how happy um, your workplace will be. And your boss will not interfere as the more you throw yourself in and you try and you and you find your, your place, the more they're going to support you. Mm. Yeah, you'll be happy. That's what I was feeling. Hello, group three. So let's find out what's going on. I have a few cards I'm going to place over here. And this one here. And see. Let's see what they're saying. So what's going on here? A give and take. It's pretty clear, too, because they really feel like literally a give and take and mm, things have to change for sure because uh, there's a lot of good you need to know more about uh, what is happening around you and feeling happy about your wishes and what you want It's a give and take. The more you, the more you are happy, the more you know what's going on, the more you'll feel uh, good about where you are. But it's almost like something happened that didn't that changed, or something happened that is not uh, flowing, and you're feeling it. And I'm going to pull out. Does your boss want you to leave or not? Like, is it to that point? Because this is mutual. I, how, you feel this way, they feel this way. So it's something going on. But you know, also, I, I'm picking up messages. I don't feel like this is negative or done. That's how I'm feeling anyway. They're not, um, yeah, it started. They, they're not like 100% like, um, I want you out to the point where I can't handle you being there anymore. It's not like that. But it is starting to be that way. They are starting to think maybe it would be best if you were not there. They are feeling that. But it's just at the start. Like, I mean, they just uh, having this thought lately, you know. Because um, they really enjoyed you at work and they really enjoyed how you were. And they were honestly um, feeling this. Like, I mean, they were treating you um, really good. They felt like uh, you were a really valued uh, uh, 
person that brought a lot, you know, and they felt really content and happy with you and they enjoyed your strength and they had a lot of confidence in you and they wanted things um, to go well and they watched you and they watched your progress and they watched how you work and they really, um, for them, you were valued, you were important, you know, they felt really sincerely uh, good about you as a worker, as part of the team, as being there and I feel like maybe it might be office too, in the office um, as a higher boss or um, as a boss or a team leader. I felt like you had a leadership role and if you didn't, then they felt like you were part or more of an equal to them. So there was a lot of, of um, confidence there and lately it's switching and it seems to be a give and take. So let's find out what this says here. Um, this one says the truth. The truth needs to come out. You need to give your truth, say your truth, tell the truth, you know. And um, yeah, because really the more um, you start to think about what is, because we're eco sort. Hmm. So I got to slow down, picking a lot of messages. It's like you forgot uh, what it was like to be happy there and how you felt and how the place was good and you sort of forgot what your purpose was or what your direction was and you sort of want it back and you're sort of thinking about it now but in between there was something that got lost or changed and it's really time for you to celebrate uh, actually what was and what could be and what you want because um, you definitely can make it happen it's up to you and if you put the effort into it and the and really uh become pro action or pro uh pro team or pro <laughs> pro uh um work and really embrace uh what's going on in a way that you can handle it and you know feel happy about yeah i mean this could be a very good place again it doesn't have to, it it does not have to be the way it feels now it definitely um has a lot of positive potential here to have it back the way it was. Again, it's, it has to do with the exchange, how uh, it works. Be grateful, have gratitude, gratitude about yourself, grateful for what you have, grateful for what's been there. Um, yeah, it's not necessarily that you have to be grateful for them or grateful for the job, but grateful in in. Uh, what you have already what you brought to the table or i don't know i'm gonna pull some cards to go with that Well, I feel like there's a, well, I feel like these belong here, so I'll leave it there. Okay. So, yes, um, really, it's, it, you took uh, too much time being pulled away, and uh, you celebrated, um, doing so you were happy doing so like you needed a break which is fine and you took it which is fine you took some fun in or something you you had to retreat basically and enjoy life a little bit and um which is all fine and then you understood something some you had to pull back to and this had to happen to you so you could understand uh what is going on and what is important to you and what you want and what you put in is what you get. So it was sort of like a little life lesson, I guess, that you are experiencing. And the universe is sort of saying to you, be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for what you are doing. Be grateful for who you are. You know, sort of something like that. Place it how it fits. But um, it's sort of reevaluating your, your situation and what you're living, how you're living, and what you want to live. 
And um, yeah, so some self um, evaluation, some self uh, figuring out. I don't have the right word right now. It's like finding. It's like finding yourself at um, what direction you want to go, where you want to go. And we're talking about work. We're not talking about life, uh, career, jobs, uh, what you want out of it, right? And um, need to figure it out. And you are, and you will, and you'll do wonders. So you'll uh, either found your way, or you will find your way. Mm. but now it's time to think about what's good like they're offering you something that is good and they want to offer you something that's good so your boss is like sort of saying here take this and meet me halfway and you're not really focused on it you don't even really see it and you see what happened because something did happen things went um, the wrong way but that happened for change to come in it's sort of um, happen for you to understand something, the bigger picture for yourself, so you can move forward into a better position, into a better way. And so you can heal uh, whatever's bothering you, change up whatever's bothering you, and be more like you were before, happy and content and knowing what's going on. And now you have to like sort of start that over again, figure out what's going on and uh, work it so that it makes you uh happy what's going to satisfy you what's what is uh the right thing for you the right choices for you what you know ask yourself these questions because they're meeting you and showing you i'll meet you halfway you know so um when you understand what you want then put it out there let them know and then they'll more than likely uh be happy with that idea but if it doesn't uh but if you don't want to be there they don't really want you to be there either because it's just uh too much to handle you know but they really valued you so it's up to you you know what you're going to do and how you're going to do it but definitely the potential there the potential is there for you to do to be okay at work and happy again i feel like i need to pull another card Teamwork, choices, again, being social, so being proactive, um, being part of the team, being part of the group, so that's huge, being part of work. Yeah, so it's up to you to, to uh, put that, incorporate that, if that's what you want. 